Well, I want to talk for a moment about what's going on on the ground in Egypt and how the next few days could impact and really throw off a very delicate balance in the relationship between the United States and Egypt that they've had for decades now. In just a couple days, Egypt will mark the one-year anniversary since their longtime leader, President Hosni Mubarak, stepped down after initially refusing and after months of protests and demands by the people of Egypt. It was seen as a victory for democracy, the cries of the people being answered. Since that time, the country has been ruled by the Egyptian military, and lately, more and more violence has erupted on the streets there. We saw just last week more than 70 people killed following a soccer match, many of those really just trampled upon, as anger now mounts with questions about where the police were and why they weren't getting involved. And what may be the straw that broke the camel's back, an announcement by the military-led government that it would put 43 non-governmental organization workers on trial. 19 of those are Americans, accused of coordinating illegal activity and setting up branches of international organizations in Egypt without a license. They've put all those accused on a no-fly list and have prevented them from leaving the country. One of those Americans is actually the son of an Obama administration cabinet member. Now, all of this is in many ways a slap in the face to Washington. And top U.S. officials are now threatening to cut aid. Now, Egypt receives more than $1.5 billion from the U.S. government, more than any other country other than Israel. On one hand, this money was sort of used to buy friendship, to keep Egypt and Israel on peaceful terms. It was an agreement uh, made several years ago. A lot of people, though, now are keeping their eye on what happens next. Aid has been sort of leverage for the United States. The threat to cut that aid in many ways has just made Egyptian authorities push back harder. So again, what happens in the next few days could mean major changes on several fronts. One more thing. Fewer people are talking about the history of this. Anger towards these so-called pro-democracy groups. This is not new. The U.S. has, for decades, been determined to spend money and resources on groups that set up camp in other countries like Egypt and work with people on forwarding the U.S. agenda in those countries. In many ways, it's resulted in the taking down of leaders or parties who disagree with the U.S. Now, in late December, Egyptian authorities broke into the offices of some of these NGOs there and confiscated much of their materials. NGOs say they're in the country to help, but in many cases, there are people who are eventually hurt. Now, with this current criminal investigation, perhaps it's good to think about what's really behind these groups and to have an honest conversation about just whose agenda they're actually carrying out.